In this video, I'm gonna show you the best eight mirror spots in Rainbow Six Siege. To begin, we're gonna start on the top floor of Oregon. We're gonna make our default rotate, because that is your job, by the way. If you have a secondary shotgun, you gotta do that. And then we're gonna reinforce both these walls. Now, with a lot of strategies, you wanna leave one open so that you can have head holes, but here we're actually gonna double mirror this. We're gonna place one here right on the right, and then we're going to make our way over, reinforce this left wall, and place our other mirror there. And we are going to double mirror. This is where you place one right next to the other, and we're going to open one of them. We're actually going to open the one on the right here. Now, you can kind of do either or. Like, it's not, like, super necessary to do one. Uh, I like this more because people can't get angles on me as harshly from armory. Kind of leaves a little more wiggle room for me there. But here you can watch Master and mainly trophy and anyone pushing from the main stairs or armory side. One thing you have to be careful of is obviously anyone pushing into attic. You don't want to get caught off guard by a maverick or something like that and get killed easily. But this is going to be really helpful in keeping them from doing this master side push. It kind of can cut off the whole side of the map as long as you can hold down attic well. Now we're on the basement of Oregon. We're gonna make some of these head holes over here on freezer wall. We're gonna reinforce this wall on the left side. And then we're gonna make our default rotate. And we're gonna do some kind of standard mirror placements. Now I'd recommend destroying these posters because often when you place your mirror, they'll get like stuck in between and I find it really annoying because it really limits your visibility. But we're gonna make our rotate here. You're gonna make your elbow rotate for your players playing there. If you are, you don't have to every time. And then we're going to reinforce this right side wall. And we're going to put a mirror on this one. You've probably seen this many times. It's really strong. You can kind of watch into freezer through those head holes. And you can definitely watch anyone pushing from those laundry stairs. So it can be kind of a tight angle, but you can get anyone coming down these freezer steps just like this. And they're probably not going to see that coming, not from that deep. So it's a pretty strong spot. Now we're going to move over here into the box and we are going to reinforce the one on the right. We're going to place a mirror here just to watch anyone on blue. It's a pretty standard spot, but I do recommend having some of my discs or Jaegers or something like that to stop any ash charges because it's a pretty common way to deal with kind of this mirror spot, which I think that way. So having those up on those walls and helping protect any of your players that are playing elbow is very helpful. Now we find ourselves on the bottom floor of bank. We're going to open our default rotate here. We're going to place our mirror on this right side A wall. Pretty default spot. Definitely seen this before. And Mira is often banned on this map for this reason. But if she's not, you need to be playing her and running this. The reason I make this a vault hole is so that you have a little bit more uh, rotation and they don't have full line of sight through both sites with the rotates. That's why you place one low and one high. I want to place our other mirror on this garage wall. Now, this is personal preference. I place mine all the way on the left. That way I can sit more tucked and still watch garage and not have to worry too much about someone on the main stairs there, on those marble stairs. Because you can see how if I'm standing right there, they can see me quite easily. But if I stand kind of tucked here, I can still look in the garage without them being able to see me. It's a preference thing. If you want to put it on the far right to make it a little bit easier to get kills when you're tricking like that, totally get it. Do that. Do whatever works for you. Now here on the third floor of cafe, we're going to make our way towards the bathroom. Make our vault rotate into bathroom just like this. Go ahead and reinforce this wall on the right here. And we are going to reinforce the wall on our right from this, the one adjacent to this. Uh, this is going to protect you from anyone kind of shooting from skylight or dropping new valve or anything like that. So just kind of covering that angle from that freezer door. I'm going to place it here and you need to be careful of that window because it's the one spot they can see you from. So if you want to run a castle and castle your bathroom doorway or you want to just barricade it, just be wary of that. Easy to avoid but also quite easy to get killed from so just don't forget about it. But you can watch all the way into like that whole Christmas side there, getting those angles like that. Now we're going to make this kind of more default rotate onto freezer. And we're going to reinforce this one on the far right. And this is where it starts to get kind of a little bit weird, but trust the process. We're going to go ahead and place our mirror on the furthest right we can, just so that people can't shoot the canister or us uh, from that window. People can hold that window and kind of keep you pinched here, so you just got to be careful 
and we're of that as well. But we're gonna open head holes along this wall. This is gonna give us sight lines into Christmas like that. And we're gonna be able to help our bathroom player just in case they need to bail or if that mirror gets opened or anything like that. You can play all the way back into here and get these long angles. Obviously it's a little more difficult to get these kills, but it puts a ton of pressure on them. And imagine as an attacker, as you're pushing in from let's say like top red, you open the wall and you're walking up to this, you've got to watch two mirrors and all those head holes. Like, good luck figuring that out. Now we're on the initiation site, second floor of theme park. And what we're going to do is we're going to reinforce this left wall facing towards cash. A lot of attackers like to push cash because of how close it is to the site without having to open wall or anything like that. But what this is going to do is it's going to make it really difficult for them to push in at all from that doorway. Because you're going to have full sight line on this and especially if you get a Wamai disc or a Jaeger right in front of your mirror and behind that desk, it's going to be so difficult for them not being able to use any ash charges or anything like that to get your mirror. And the next one we're going to place is over here, looking into the server room, we're going to place it on the far right here. Now there's two ways you can do this, you can either double reinforce the wall and place the mirror on the far left here to peek the doorway, or you can do it like I'm doing here. I like it this way because then the attackers have a lot, have two more angles to watch instead of just the one, right? With the other one they only have to watch the doorway, with this one they gotta watch the doorway and your mirror hold. So it gives them a little bit more difficulty pushing in through this server side. So we're in armory on the top floor and border and we're gonna reinforce this wall. Now normally this is, this is a no-no, like you don't ever wanna do this, except for this strap right here. We're gonna go ahead and place a mirror on the bottom as low as we can and then we're gonna open it. Normally you don't wanna do that either, right? you don't want your mirrors open, but this is gonna create a one-way angle when you sit behind this half wall watching anyone pushing in for that default plant and the reinforcement is gonna help cover us from that ventilation window for this mirror over here. We're gonna place it on this left side here just so that we have a little bit more cover from that main door. We aren't tucked so far in that corner because they can kind of hold you pinched if they're holding an angle on that. Tucked in the corner of this small office. So we're just gonna place it here, open our hole. And then we're also gonna go rip down this barricade and we're gonna make some holes into this CC security wall. And this is gonna make it so we can look into there watching the window vault from our Mira. Just like this, we can look, watch the breach, watch the door, and look into security there. So, pretty strong mirror spot here. Now we're in the aviation site on Villa. We're gonna go ahead and reinforce one of these bar walls, and we're gonna reinforce the one just to the left of that. It's a little bit of an unorthodox mirror setup here. You can also just run them on the aviation and bar wall if you want. But I like this one here because you can watch both of them. You're going to place one on this wall to the left looking into B and you're going to place the other one on the right looking into study. This makes it so you can watch study and B from just this one spot. You're watching the entire site, that push in, and you're watching the study push. Now, obviously it's really important that you hold A. So you're going to really want your teammates to lock down that 90 hallway. You're probably going to want someone playing 90 and maybe someone even playing main stair. But this is gonna make it so you're watching site from the safety of your mirrors and anyone pushing into that B site from either direction is gonna be at a disadvantage. That's what makes it so strong. The only thing you need to be careful of is moving too far backwards on this study door so that they can see you from that angle. Right, if you're standing just further back like I am there, you could die, obviously. So be careful of that, you need to be wary of where you're standing and just kind of be aware of your situation. But with these mirrors, you'll be able to lock down that B site and rely on your teammates to hold the 90 hall. Now this next one is on Nighthaven Labs and I know a lot of people don't like this map because they haven't played it very much, but it's actually quite a good map and can be quite fun. So try this mirror strat next time you're playing it. We're on the top floor site here. We're gonna reinforce this wall right next to the pillar and site. And we're gonna place our mirror right on this wall. This is gonna help you trick anyone pushing from this side. People often try to open up this wall that you're sitting on right now. So you can defend that, play that well. Make sure you maybe have some Jaegers, some Mwais, something like that, but it can be really strong. And especially if you have an Azami to place on the pillar behind you to help cover your back, it can be absolutely lethal. 
And this other one, I like to just place it here on this wall, looking into electrical and sight. Please ignore that I'm on Scaria. That was an accident. Same sight if you're playing on Bomb and Ranked. But you're gonna have it placed here, looking into electrical, biological door that people would kind of push from in desperation at the end of rounds. And you can watch this main breach that people will push into. Obviously reinforce these three walls. When you're not playing this mirror, usually you play some head holes there, but with this mirror, I like them just full reinforced. Thank you so much for watching. If you use any of these mirror strats in your game, please let me know down in the comments how it goes for you, what works, what doesn't, any tips or tricks you find. And if you liked this video, check out this castle video where I go over why you're playing castle wrong and how you should be playing him with strats to go along with it.